Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about simple mode. So you can simply activate it by clicking this button to activate simple mode and you'll notice that your skills, you know, they change. So all you have to do is hold down your right mouse button and you'll just start casting your skills automatically. And that is what simple mode is. And if you want to disable it, you just click it again. And there's a hotkey of shift F3. But more specifically, we're going to be talking about is simple mode good or not? And should you be using simple mode? So my advice to most people is if you're starting a new class and you just want to slowly learn the class at your own pace, I recommend playing with simple mode to begin with. Just play with simple mode turned on and just kind of learn the class and get your bearings because there's a lot of skills. So, you know, when you start off, you've got all these talents, you've got all these skills over here and you're not familiar with anything, right? And since you're not familiar with any of the skills, it takes some time to get used to. However, simple mode doesn't do everything for you. It just does a basic rotation. Um, you still need to do certain things such as proc your bracelet, proc your Ransu badge and stuff like that. So I really do recommend people who are getting into the game who are playing a new class or just like maybe it's an alt or something and they're not familiar with the class to just play with simple mode turned on and just play like that for now but while you're playing the game in simple mode you're actively trying to learn what your skills do and what activates what items so for example you really do need to read what bracelet you have so for the gunners it's quite straightforward you have the star breaker bracelet or the divinity bracelet these are the end game uh, bracelets however if you're in the early game you have the tiger bracelet or the divine dragon bracelet so your bracelet gives you a lot of extra damage so you can see here it gives me 2450 percent attack bonus on my first destructive bullet storm when this is active so this is a huge dps boost so i need to know when to activate this and when to time my bullet storm in order to gain all this attack power bonus and this applies to all the bracelets in the game so you need to understand that those bracelets they use different skills to proc it so for the tiger bracelet you have to use your v skill which is carpet bomb however if you're using the divine dragon it procs off triple shot so it's different you see so you need to understand that each bracelet has its own different conditions on what procs it and then you have to work that around your simple mode because with simple mode activated you'll see that you have different skills based on the situation the game will detect what situation you're in or what skills you've casted and then will automatically switch over to cast certain skills so you can see here tombstone during concentrated fire tombstone during soul burn it automatically knows if you press tab so you can see here that when you're fighting normally it's just using quick shot However, the moment you press tab and you press four, it changes the bullet storm and then it automatically reloads and you can bullet storm constantly. And that is why simple mode is actually pretty good for beginner players who don't know the rotation and stuff like that. Even I use simple mode quite often on certain classes that I'm not comfortable with. So when I was playing the Blade Master, for example, when I was on the lightning spec, I just played with simple mode on and that's all I did. Mainly because I was not used to a melee class and that was my main focus. It was like, okay, what do I do in this dungeon? Where do I stand? Where can I DPS? What do I need to do in order to do mechanics? Because I'm so used to playing a range class and not used to playing a melee class. So I needed to focus more on my positioning and what I should be doing to be doing mechanics and less on what my rotation is. And that's what I usually try to figure out first. And then after I know how to do the dungeons, then I try to min max by figuring out, okay, what my rotation is, what skill should I be casting? How do I get more damage? And that is my thought process and how I try to learn the game. However, you might be different. You might want to figure out how to maximize your DPS first and then learn how to play the dungeon. There's no correct answer here. It's really depending on your own personal preference. But I personally think simple mode is great, especially for players who don't know their rotation. I had a friend the other day that just got into Blade and Soul. They're playing Fire Blade Master. They really love Fire Blade Master, but the issue was they didn't know their rotation. So they didn't know that you needed to revolve all your damage around Dragon Tongue. So they were just like left clicking, right clicking. They're doing a lot of flickers. They're in basic mode a lot of the time. They weren't in draw stance. And so their DPS was very, very low. They were doing around like 30k DPS. However, the moment they switched to simple mode and all they did was hold down right mouse button, their DPS only shot up to 120k. So if you don't know what you're doing 
and you're still trying to figure out the class, just stick with simple mode until you slowly, slowly learn your class and get more comfortable with the skills and understand with the skill synergy as well as what skills you need to cast in order to activate your bracelets, in order to activate your, your mystic badges, what soul badges you need. And it's all about synergy. It's really all about synergizing your gear with your skills and what skills to cast first in order to maximize your DPS. So the TLDR is simple mode is not horrible. It is a DPS loss for players who know what they're doing. Yes, that is a fact. However, if you don't know what you're doing or if you're still not familiar with the class or if you're simply just not min-maxing and you don't care about min-maxing, then simple mode is a very good alternative to simply just have a good time, just relax and just kind of brain dead DPS throughout the, the dungeons and have a good time. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you guys found it useful. If it did help, I would appreciate a subscribe as it really does help out my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Welcome.